Hi guys, Snake Dodder here. Welcome back to Broken Sword 4, The Angel of Death. Right, well we left George here in this hotel lobby and uh, we need to uh, try and get our way up to Anna Maria's room. So for now let's start by talking to the guy behind the counter. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me. Maybe, maybe not. Are you the receptionist? I'm the manager. Name's Alfonso. You could call me Mr. Alfonso. Where's the receptionist? She went AWOL. Good for nothing, lazy broad. Well, let's try getting a room, see what happens there. I'm looking for a room for one night. Maybe something with a view? We're full. Take this flyer. Book ahead next time. Thank you. What a hotel. So busy and yet so charmingly quiet. A triumph. What about you? So, you've been running this place long? It's been in my family for generations. You must be very proud. You seem a little stressed. Wouldn't you be if your receptionist just up and left? Look on the bright side. You got a shortcut to the quiet life right there in your hand. I thought that smoking was banned in public places in New York. You got a problem with me smoking, you leave. Leave? I love Charming. this place. Who is the guy who just left? Is he a guest? No, he just came in to use my phone. Normally, I don't let people come in off the street and use the facilities. But, uh, he's got a nice face. What a surprisingly sweet, sentimental man you are. What? Mm -hmm. All right, let's uh, let's go. Let's chat to uh, this guy here when we're standing there. Let's chat to this man. Let me talk to you. No. I'll talk to you. Let's go this way around. Hello. Let's grab his book. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> don't touch me! Don't touch me! Ah. Sorry, I just wanted to look at your book. This book is not for your sort. Now leave My me alone sort? or I shall call the constabulary. The constabulary? How are they going to get here in a time machine? <laughs> Come on. Let's have a chat. Excuse me. All right, all right. Take my money, but don't hurt me. I just, just want your book. I ask you a couple of questions. Oh, oh, I, I see. I thought you were one of those awful gangster rappers. No. You're dressed like this? Well, exactly. They don't dress well, do they? Charming, who are you? So, what brings you to New York? Cackling, Brent, Pinkfoot? Come again? Pardon? Bean, Brent, and Barnacle? Uh, yeah. Geese, sir. Wild geese. Alsa, Alberfranz, Branter, Bernicler, the great ocean Why wanderers. didn't you say? I'm here to purchase some rare watercolors depicting geese. Paintings of geese, I huh? See. Well, I guess it beats stuffing them. <laughs> if you don't mind me saying, you look a little nervous. The World Wide Web declared this place to be a boutique hotel gem, the like of which Philip Stark himself would be proud. Not your view, huh? No, sir. It is a rat-infested, urine-stained hellhole. I fully expect Lovely. I shall be mugged, held to ransom, or even... Even what? He does have a point. Doesn't bear thinking about. Did you see the man who was here a minute ago? Big chap. Powerful. Well-built, scary-looking. Uh, yeah, I guess that could be him. I don't suppose you know what he wanted. I think he was looking for his wife. Mistress, more like. It's been the busiest day since I arrived. A veritable Oops. fly past Obviously likes uh, watching people. The hotel manager seems to have a chip on his shoulder. What's his problem? Oh, he's been in a foul temper ever since I arrived. But when his receptionist went missing a little while ago, he turned very nasty indeed. Terrible. So why don't you go somewhere else? I would. Sadly, the dealer from whom I am purchasing the paintings is indisposed. And he only has the number for this hotel to contact me. I simply cannot go home without my geese. Well, I guess that's the price I you see. pay for. Well, I want your... I want your key card. So can I, uh... Somehow grab that? Let's have a look at his book, shall we? The man's reading a book called On the Wings of a Goose. Tucked in between the pages is a key card. All right. So. Hello again. Ah! <laughs> oh, for God's sake, be careful. Easily spooked. Oh, I have a weak heart. 
Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. What do you want? I want your key card. Let's talk about the book, though. Is it a good read? Oh, it's a wonderful book full of magic and wonder. And let me guess, geese? Geese, indeed. It's a scandal that it still hasn't graced the bestseller list. It's terrible. Oh, it's a crime, a literary <laughs> crime. My thoughts exactly. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. Thelwell Minster. George Stobart. Hello, Thelwell. What a pleasure to meet a fellow goose lover. Gotta love them geese. We do indeed. Right. Uh, well, I'll tell what we could do. We've got a phone, haven't we? Let's try... Uh, let's try going in here. And... Uh, Make a phone call. Let's try ringing. Let's try actually try looking at this. Can we ring the hotel? No, we can't yet, can we? Let's try ringing. Looking at the leaflet first to get the it's number. It's the flyer for the lousy New York hotel. On the top is the hotel number. I guess it could be useful. Okay, now we can probably ring. So now there we are, Alfonso's hotel. Let's see if we can chat to that guy. He might leave his book behind. Alfonso's Hotel. What do you want? Hi there. I was wondering if you could... Thelwell? Thelwell, indeed. I was wondering if I could speak to a Thelwell minster? Yeah, sure. Let me put a call out over the tannoy. Hey, Thelwell! <laughs> there's a call for you here! Sophisticated system he has there. That's it, good man. Leave your book there. We'll just uh, nip over and uh, extract that from the book. All right. This way, George. Come on. Come on. The there book's of no interest, but I'll borrow the key card. Can oh, you believe it? I'm back. even getting crank calls here. You of all people. The second my friend calls, I should be out of here too sweet. The tutor the sweeter, I bet. Indeed, right, let's go quick. Before he realizes the uh before he realizes the key card's gone, let's just get up these uh up these stairs. I do like this game, I think it's still uh Holding up fairly well considering it's uh, six years old. We use that there, do we? There we go. Brilliant. Right, let's go up the stairs. The next flight. Now we're going to go up on this landing. Ooh, what's that smoke? Quick fuck, George, get your phone. George, it's me. You okay? I'm trapped on the fire escape. They've got guys all over the place. They haven't seen me yet, but it's only a matter of time. George, you must get into my room and open the bathroom window. Okay, okay. just hold on and, and, I don't know, look invisible. Invisible? Standing on a fire escape? Okay, okay, I'm on to it. Right, what's this say here? Let's have a quick look at this a minute. I don't want to really close the for fumigation. For my health. Old Uncle Stobart was a bug buster. The chemicals he used sent him over the edge. Of course, at the time, we just put it down to the booze. But when we cremated him, the toxic cloud shut down half the city. <laughs> well, he's on the floor here, they look like cockroaches or something. I really hate doing stuff like this, but it could be useful. Are they? Ooh, oh, we've picked one up. Pretty nasty. A pile of dead bugs at the bottom of the stairwell. It's a massacre. Bodies everywhere, legs in the air. Reminds me of that party Ross threw for my 21st. <laughs> Heck, he should be getting out of jail soon. Let's go down here then. Huh? Ooh, what's that noise? A strange noise coming from the cleaning closet. Hey, there's nothing in there that concerns you. But what's that banging inside? Beetles. The whole place is riddled with them. Beetles? Just what Very the heck loud. are they feeding on? 
<laughs> right. Let's have a chat to him. Looks like our uh, he's very protective of his uh, hey jacket there. there. Can I help you, Mister? Uh -huh. I'm looking for room twenty-three. It's out of bounds. Why? Are you staying in room twenty-three? No. Looks like Elvis. I could get myself in trouble here. No, I'm just looking for a friend. Well, you're looking in the wrong place. Beat it. Thank you very much. <laughs> Welcome to the Heartbreak Hotel, huh? <laughs> right, let's go. Um, let's get out of here. Let's go back downstairs. See if uh, see if we can do something with these bugs. Must have hit one up for a reason. Where are you going, George? Just wait. in the reader again. There we go. If I remember rightly, back in the day, I put a bug on here. That's not quite right. Thought I did anyway. Hey you, leave that clock alone. I was just admiring oh, it. I think I have to do it in this ah, order first. So you've had that new laser eye surgery, have you? Huh? The surgery that attaches your eyeballs to your hands. But I don't have... Oh, <laughs> I get it. You do? So back up. You bet. Okay. I'm sure I can... I've got no reason to try that. No, I must have to speak to him first. I think he told us about his love for that clock. Excuse me, Mr. Alfonso. Can you spare a moment? What do you think this is, a hotel? <laughs> don't worry. I'd never make that mistake. Tell us about the clock. That grandfather clock is beautiful. Ain't it though? Worth the fortune. Next year I'm trading it in for a condo in Florida. Very nice. So what's with the fumigation work going on upstairs? Death Watch Beetle. Whole buildings infested with them. Eating up my livelihood from the top down. Terrible, okay. So, apart from eating every scrap of wood, what harm do they do? There we go, I probably can put it on there now. Food. They climb in your hair. They live in your bed. And they Charming. It's just what you want from a hotel. Kill. Right, let's go. Let's try and put that in there now. I'm sure we can do that. There we Alfonso go. Alfonso won't be happy. Let's go and tell him. Something growing in his clock. Mr. Alfonso, can you spare a moment? If you make it quick. It could there be my eyes, but is that something moving on your clock? It's the hands, pal. No, it's no. called time. Got something Can't living you there. See it? Oh, let it not be. What? A death watch beetle? No. no. Not my precious clock. Quick. There we go. Right, this, that lighter on the side. I think we need that for the bit upstairs. Let's just yoink that away. Got it. There we go. Well, if you don't stop messing with my window, I'm gonna start messing with yours. Sorry. Sorry about that. Just wanted to see how it opened. Right. Let's get back upstairs. I think we need to get rid of that guy to get into the room, so we can get Anna Maria off the uh, off the balcony. Oh, crash. <laughs> okay. Let's get up the uh, up the stairs. Right, let's try and uh, distract the guard. If I remember rightly, I didn't we didn't see it before, but I remember him doing a little uh, Elvis dance, which at which point he looks away from the window. So I'm hoping we can get him to do that. When he does we can uh, open this up which will get him away from the door briefly. Come on now. Do your thing. There we go, quick. <laughs> He's doing his Elvis moves. If 
for you. There we go. Just did that in time before we turn around. And you can go and open the window because it's freezing cold. Fantastic. I will set fire to this. Brilliant. Plastic plants burning. Ah. Now seeing him brush his suit off, I think he was rather uh, precious about that. So there we go. Elvis has left the building. Quick, let's get in the uh, let's get in the room. Let's get the safe that Anna Maria was talking about. Oh no, it's empty. the safe's been cleaned out. They've taken Anna Maria's manuscript. Right, let's get Anna Maria in. I think it must be in the bathroom, I think, if I remember rightly. Now, how do we do this? Something to do with the string that I had. Whoa! Turn it off first, I suppose. Close. Trying to tie a piece of string onto a moving fan is one of the most stupid things I have ever tried to do. It's amazing how elements of a game that you've played sort of six years before can come back to you. The fan shudders when it slows down. There we I think go. this room's got the highest mortality rate in the city. Right, what a key card. Uh, it's the key card I stole from Thelwell. On or off, I am not going to stick my hands in there. Okay. It's a weapon of mass extraction. But somehow I need to move it to let Anna Maria in. Where's the string gone? Man sure makes some interesting noises when it starts. For some guests, that must be the last sound they ever hear. Right, well that's uh, no good because the string seems to have vanished. So, I wonder where that's gone. The extractor fan is set into the window that looks out onto the alley. The fan blades are caked in grease. The blades are chipped with chunks missing. And the cover's broken. Brilliant. Okay, well, <laughs> the string that we we're supposed to use to uh, pull that off has uh, has gone out of my inventory, and now I can't uh, can't get it back. That's brilliant. Well, I think we're going to have to leave that video there. But I remember rightly the the the. The air conditioning unit fell off, Anna Marie came in, and then we went back to my bail bonds house. So uh, I think we're going to have to. Uh, I'll do that off camera, I think, because uh, I'll get it to the next part, because for some reason that part of my inventory has wandered off. Obviously, put it on in the wrong order, and there's obviously a little bug there that's caused that. So for now, uh, we'll have to call it a day. Uh, yes, so I've been State Doctor. Please come back for the next part. We'll get this game back on track, and uh, yeah, we'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys. Bye bye.